What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay got the poet live in effect like I always am. And Nicole is with me. All right, y'all. We hey. are back. Yes. So look, so y'all already gonna see the other vlog that um we just ended, but I had to pick up the camera again and start Why it over. Using a heavy G. What are you talking about? You <laughs> that right there. What are you talking about? Well I I don't know if y'all seen the other vlog. Like, why, why, why your jeans be so heavy? Calm down on your jeans. So if I say lasagna and pronounce the G, calm down on your jeans. Anyway, shout out to Lil Wayne, cause real G's move in silence like lasagna. Oh, oh, oh! oh. All right, so no, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta tell them where we at and where we going. Get it. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. So we can wait. <laughs> look, y'all. Look, 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 look. All right, so we getting ready to go into uh, this place called Torchy Tacos. Torchy, is that what it's called? It's called Torchy Taco. Um, and we're getting ready to try it out for the first time. If y'all in the Richmond, Virginia area, and y'all see the raisin canes right here and right here let me let me back up so y'all can see it um right behind me is the torchy taco and this is what we're trying for dinner tonight so we're gonna try that and let y'all know i haven't had tacos in a while oh i did have tacos i had tacos at the um what is it called the um the mexican spot we went to for father's day yeah so that was a while too, so. Uh, let me get my keys real quick. So yeah, we can like go in here and try this out for the first time. We're hearing great things about it. So we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna give y'all an honest review. All right, y'all. So the first thing that came to the, uh, the table was the chips and salsa. Um, this was Nicole's idea to get this. We normally get chips and salsa anywhere. But I wanted to see her reaction. Whoa, hold on. Uh, hold on. If you're going back for a second. Is it is it good or spicy? It's spicy. Okay, so I guess I don't know if I want to try it. How about I do this? Right, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to knock it off like I normally do. Luckily, I got my water right here in front of me. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta eat a plain one. <laughs> you alright? Just that mild. That, what the hot taste like? I don't know. Luckily, I got some water. It's got a good flavor. What else did you order? A taco. I was handing it to you. You said taco? She got a taco. I got a burrito. Once all that food comes, I'll show y'all. So, I'm going to show the food, y'all. My burrito is wrapped up. First impressions. Like, real talk. Be real. The salsa was, I asked for mild. That is definitely not mild, but. It has a kick to it. It has a good flavor, but it's very spicy. So if you don't like spice, don't ask, don't order the salsa. All right. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the cheese on the taco isn't like melting, but. I wanna see her reaction on the first taste. And what did you get? You got chicken? The chicken fajita taco. Okay. What's your thoughts? It's, it's not bad. All right, so that's her first reaction. We're gonna eat the food and then get the final reaction. I'm gonna try my chicken. This is chicken fajita. I asked for... Open it up. Okay. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> I'm just gonna 
bite it because I, I don't want to open it and stuff start falling out. But this is what the burrito look like. I would open it up first to make sure there's no, because it says fajita on here. It looks like everything I order. Okay. Okay, now hold on. I can't make it the same way. I'm still gonna try it. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat a little bit more because I didn't taste the sour cream on there. So I'm gonna see if there's sour cream on here because it's supposed to come on here. So. We'll let you know once we finish eating everything. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all our plate, but don't let this fool you guys. <laughs> We're gonna give you a good, honest review in the car, because y'all y'all will see what I'm talking about. So, my burrito, I ate all of it, obviously. I'm eating dinner, so I have to eat it. Tortillas and sauces right here. We didn't eat all that. Nicole only ordered one taco. Because it only comes with one taco. It only comes with one taco. And um, yeah, so we'll talk to y'all once we get in the car. All right, I'm gonna let Nicole take over this part because I need to focus on what I'm saying and drive and film, but I'm gonna let her get her, her, Hold on, before you do her that, rocks off first. Where are we going to get something to eat from? All right, y'all, uh, go ahead. Just, do you want to go somewhere else? Seriously. I'm, I, I'm very befuddled right now because I've seen multiple people say that Torch's tacos smack, like it's busting. I am very, very disappointed. Like to the point where I want to go back in there and ask for my tip back because for one, that was the most mid, and I don't even talk like this, but that food, is that the, the, the thing Beyonce be walking on? But anyway, <laughs> that is the most mid food I've ever eaten in my life. Like, I could have made better tacos than that. Like, mind you, I spent $6 on one taco. One taco. At least and at Chipotle, you get three for like $9. But the thing is, it's not about the money. Let me it's say not, that. It's definitely not about the money because we spend some money on, uh, money on food. And money on stuff that we really like, want to experience. When it come, like when it come to food, there's no, there is no budget <laughs> when it comes to our stomachs, okay? So, mind you, I had, I, I, luckily I wasn't being greedy because I almost ordered two tacos. But and I said, let me just order one just in case I don't like it. Thank God I did not order two. Not saying that I did not like the taco, I feel like it was rushed. Like our food came out within like two minutes Okay, I'm exaggerating. Maybe, maybe five, five minutes maybe five. of us sitting down. And one, I've never had a taco that had thick cheese on it. Like the cheese was so thick, and y'all see, y'all should see from the video that um the cheese was so yeah. thick it would not. It it I don't know why that that ain't working. <laughs> but anyway, it would not. It didn't melt. Yeah, it didn't so melt. also, which gives me sign <clears throat> that one. The chicken that I had on my taco, because I ordered a chicken fajito taco, the chicken and the vegetables were were lukewarm. They weren't heated at all. It was like the food was just sitting back right, so there. So hold on. So they do close at 11. We got there around. It's 8 o'clock. That we, ain't got nothing to do with know, the temperature but, of the food. No, no, no. I'm just trying to give them an understanding because I know people are going to ask, what time did y'all go on all this? We got there around 7.45. 8 o'clock something like that and all of this is, is what she's saying like uh, I will say this like the I enjoyed the tortilla <laughs> because it tastes like it like I could taste the flour in it right the tortilla was good it was nice and thick it was I felt like it did the job I just didn't like the burrito that I got first things first his burrito had more cheese on it than anything else like he had like seven pieces of chicken. Like And if y'all if y'all know I'm not supposed to be eating 
cheese like that. I eat it very little now. So he literally was picking the cheese off, and that's just that's that's also giving account to how cold the, the burrito was because he was able to pick the cheese off of the burrito. But let's talk about the salsa, the mild salsa that I ordered. That that salsa was not mild, so I don't know what the hot is like, but that salsa was not mild. And I'm like, I know I said mild. Where's my receipt, y'all? I spent. We spent. Before the before the tip. Before the tip. Hold on. It was like twenty-five dollars. It was like twenty-five dollars twenty-two dollars and seventy-four cents. That's done that, that's a cheap dinner for us. Normally we we go in. Like seriously. That meal got me so irritated that I'm gonna make tacos tomorrow for them. Yeah. Because <laughs> And you're gonna see it at the end of this video because I'm gonna wait to add that part in to this video because i don't even understand like i couldn't make a better taco than it y'all just be eating anything and saying that it's good stop with the cap hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i want to say what you said in, in there i, I want to quote you word for word right uh-huh this is a fast food joint that serves liquor so their slogan is damn good right she said she understands why their slogan is damn good they get you drunk and the food is damn good because you don't know what you tasted. Right. But it's also commercialized Mexican. And I hate to say this, but certain people like commercialized Mexican. Yeah. You know, you know I'm what I'm not, saying? So, and I, I'm going to be, y'all know I like Mexican and I like pizza. Y'all already know that. I would have rather had a chalupa, a chicken chalupa from Taco Bell than what I just ate. Like, I'm so, like, I really want a do-over dinner, but that's just being greedy. <laughs> and we just walked, so I don't I'm know. Like, I, I'm like, li I'm literally irritated by the fact that we wait. I was excited, and I was excited. Like, when I got home, I was like, we going to Torches. He was like, oh, this is what we doing. Because he wanted to go to Torches the other day. Yeah. That was God telling us not to go to Torches, and we didn't listen. See, follow the Lord, and you will be led to the right places. And then also, husbands, <laughs> follow your follow your wife, and you'll be led to led to the wrong places really? because she wanted to go to Torchy Taco tonight. Follow your wife. Like, I was just I was like I'm not I'm not gonna feel like cooking. I, we did I had to go to rehearsal. We went walking. I wasn't gonna feel like putting anything together when we got back home. Yeah. And so I was like, let's just go get something quick, and, and everybody. Everybody be saying it's good. It's mid. Y'all taste buds is whack. I'm not listening to y'all no what, more. What's that? What's that phrase they used to say? You smoking that Reggie? Y'all eating? <laughs> y'all eat, eating that Reggie? Cause I that yeah. that that was disappointing. Watch somebody go get on this video and be like, y'all should have went to the one on Broad Street. Why does it matter? So it shouldn't matter. So so with that with that argument, let me say this. And Nicole is going to disagree with me probably on this, right? I can go to Chick-fil-A no matter what city I'm in, and it's the same service. It Period. Period. <laughs> I don't care what city we in. I don't care what county we in. I don't care if we in Virginia, Las Vegas, New York, wherever we at. Florida. We didn't eat Chick-fil-A in neither one of those states. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, we ate it in um, North Carolina. I didn't eat me and me and Larry ate it in North Carolina and it tasted the same. I got the same customer service. So yes. But that's their business model though. Well, Torchy tacos need to have the same business model, whether it's Broad Street or if it's Chesterfield. But guess what? We ain't gonna find out if Broad Street is better because we ain't going back. Same way I ain't been back to crumble cookie. I don't care what y'all say about crumble cookie. Them some nasty cookies. <laughs> mm. Do you co-sign? <laughs> I, I would like a, a round two on that to see if, cause you gonna buy them. I ain't paying crumble no more. Five dollars <laughs> for cookies, and we threw the whole box away. <laughs> we paid five dollars per cookie. We took a bite out of each one. It was like this is trash. Yeah, I'm, do you still got that TikTok? Yeah, it's it's on my tic TikTok, tickety TikTok. If, <laughs> if crumble wants to give us some cookies so that we can try them and see if they better. I'll do that, but I ain't spending no more money on crumble, y'all. Crumble is up there. Torches and crumble on the same level. We need to create a list of places not to go. Maybe, maybe that that would be 
like a, a future video. What places you shouldn't go in Richmond? <laughs> like restaurant edition. Cause we definitely got a Mexican restaurant we can add to that and it ain't torches. If somebody wants to do me a favor, please bring back Pancho. The best Mexican ever. Ever. They had the quesadilla with taste Baby, like listen. The, taste of, the quesadilla. Listen. The quesadilla tastes like butter. Like, like oh my god. All of our food I literally wanted to cry when Poncho's closed, but we not gonna we not that's 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 mm, disappointing. Yeah. But we are home now. Yeah. I'm gonna go in here and make dinner. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. If y'all enjoy this type of video, what do they need to do? Hit that like button, hit that follow button, subscribe. Yeah. Like, follow, and subscribe. There you and go. And share. And share. So, and, and comment below if y'all made it this far and let us know if y'all tried it and y'all experience with it. Uh, yeah. See y'all in the next one. <laughs>